Hello, I warmly welcome you to this talk on the nature and value of hope. My name is Andreas Kraft. I'm a researcher and lecturer at the University of St. Gallen in Switzerland and responsible for the international research network of the Hope Barometer. For the past 10 years, we have been working on this very exciting initiative called the Hope Barometer, which is an annual survey of people's hopes and expectations for the future. This has included about 10,000 people each year in 14 different countries in all continents. Let me start explaining what inspired us to create the Hope Barometer. In our daily lives, we seem to be much more concerned with the negative trends than with positive outlooks. Through the mass media, we are continually confronted with negative news from all over the world. Many people, especially young people, are either skeptical concerned or even pessimistic about the economic outlook, about social issues in their country, about politics in general, and above all about the climate and the environment. It seems as if events like financial and economic crisis, political turmoils, environmental catastrophes, and refugee emergencies have been deeply engraved in people's consciousness. All these resulted in a very gloomy image of the future. Against this background, we wanted to consciously focus on the positive sides of life and particularly on a better future and put the worries, fears and problems aside, at least for a moment. With the Hope Barometer, we want to encourage people to focus on their personal dreams and wishes, on what is good and promising and on what could work well in their lives. This is needed today more than ever before, particularly if we want to imagine and actively shape a better future for ourselves, for society as a whole, and not to forget also for future generations. This was the main reason for the development of the Hope Barometer. First and foremost, we want people to be aware of their own hopes, their values, dreams, and own capabilities. In this way, we can regain a positive stance and attitude towards the future. We want people to focus on their heart wishes, on their deeper desires, on what gives meaning and really matters in their lives. This also includes the reflection of the most important sources of hope, sources that people need to remain or become more hopeful. In this way, we want to show what is worth hoping for and what people can do to become or remain hopeful particularly in dire situations, in order to live a fulfilled and happy life. Now, what are the main hopes of the people? Over the past 10 years, and in almost all countries, the answer to this question has been the same again and again. The three most important personal hopes are personal health, a happy marriage, family or partnership, and harmony in life. These three targets of hope are followed by three other important life domains, namely good and trusting relationships with other people, personal independence and self-determination, and a meaningful and fulfilling task in life and personal growth. For most people, these hopes are significantly more important than material goods, such as more money, a successful career, or even leisure activities. However, this does not mean that these other areas of life are not important at all, but they are, in comparison to the former domains, notably less important. Furthermore, our findings show that, that there are certain domains in life that are, on the one hand, especially important to us in terms of personal hopes, and at the same time, inspire in us a general feeling of hope. We called that the virtuous circle of hope, because the main targets of hope are at the same time the most important sources of hope. These domains represent mainly a deeper attachment to other people. Particularly in stressful times, we long for inner harmony, balance and peace 
as well as for agreeable and pleasant human relationships. At the same time, we want to be free to take decisions for ourselves and to be less determined by external conditions. We want to shape our lives, but not in an egoistic manner. Rather, the desire for a meaningful and fulfilling task seems extremely relevant, principally, if we can help other people. For example, we recognize the importance of social engagement and voluntary work for a good cause, being it in the neighborhood, in the church, or in a social institution, or even within the family itself. The next question is, what are the main pillars of hope? We understand hope as composed by at least three basic elements, belief, trust, and confidence. The first central element of hope is a sense of belief. This belief can be grounded in a secular value system, for example, we believe in technology or in science, but additionally, it can also be related to a spiritual or religious higher power. For many people, inner beliefs are a strong source of hope, but above all, and this is one important finding of our empirical research, hopeful people believe in the good. They believe in the goodness of the world, in the goodness of humankind, of people in general, in a benevolent higher power, and in terms of self-esteem, in the goodness of themselves. Based on that, hope entails a sort of trust. Trust in oneself, in our own capabilities, but also in another person and, in many cases, in a sort of transcendent higher instance, which we then call faith. Interestingly, people that trust other persons and a benevolent higher power are better able to trust themselves. When faith is based on the belief in the good, this will strengthen our self-confidence. Then, based on this belief, trust and self-confidence, the confidence in a positive outcome for oneself and others will result in a hopeful view towards the future. Of course, these hopes will be related to specific things that could be goals or circumstances which we desire because they are really important and of a special value to us and which we wish to attain or to see fulfilled. But beyond that, when we hope in a fundamental way, we are confident that our heart wishes will develop in a certain good way. And we have to trust somebody, ourselves, or even better, other people, or this higher power, that our hopes will be fulfilled in a way which is right for us and for our social environment. And sometimes the result will be different to what we might have expected. Belief, confidence, and trust are important because we have to face adversities and obstacles and also negative expectations or even challenging facts. And he or she who hopes will be more persistent, more involved and less disappointed, especially after setbacks, because of this fundamental belief, faith, trust and confidence. The next question is related to the role of hope in adversity. We know that life is not always, and for some, perhaps seldom, filled with joy, harmony and happiness. However, the burdens of life are not necessarily only something negative. They could also be a source of a positive energy, full of opportunities and hopes. Consider that from negative experiences in life, often emerge the desire and the basic drive to overcome the present state and to create a better future. This is the starting point for the universal principle of human hope. In this respect, thoughts and feelings of hope could be healing and encouraging forces. Hope is the most important engine for a good future, especially when someone is not doing so well at the present or when someone is in a life crisis. Our research results confirm that even in seemingly hopeless situations, it is worthwhile to continue hoping. This means maintaining trust in oneself and the faith in a greater whole, whatever that may be, luck, 
providence, fate, or a higher power, and believing that everything will be okay again and that it is worthwhile to commit oneself to it. This is not mere illusion or wishful thinking. It has been shown to us by great personalities and role models in history, such as Nelson Mandela, Mahatma Gandhi, as well as by the countless heroes of everyday life, people who have overcome an illness, people who have stood up after a profound crisis, strengthened and lived a happy life. The next question is, how important are personal values with regard to hope? One central finding of our research shows that what people hope for and what they do to fulfill their hopes is usually anchored in their personal values. Personal values and worldviews are extremely relevant for us to feel and remain hopeful. The question is, which are the most relevant values of hope? Firstly, both hope and a fulfilling life are very much related to the universal value of self-transcendence, as defined by Shalom Schwartz, in terms of benevolence and goodness. This means that the understanding and appreciation of the well-being of others is significantly connected to our own perception and level of hope. And this is not only the case in the so-called collectivistic societies, but also in countries known as individualistic. Beyond our own well-being, what matters most to us is the well-being of others, of our loved ones, but also the tolerance, respect and care towards other people, towards strangers and towards nature in general. Furthermore, hope is connected to another central value defined as openness to change, to be open to something new, sometimes unknown. This includes curiosity, creativity, the search for something different, innovative solutions, and the pursuit of seemingly unrealistic or challenging life goals. We all possess the capacity of thinking ahead, dreaming ahead, imagining something different and creatively designing our future. Particularly when the life conditions are unpleasant or threatening, we strive for a better future. However, this requires in some cases to abandon the own comfort zone including negative habits, unfavorable practices or stalled routines. And in other cases, to overcome deception, disappointment, indifference, apathy or even lethargy. Hope is strongest when these two values come together. On the one hand, the value of care and responsibility for others, mutual support, helpfulness, understanding, respect and the appreciation of the well-being of others. And, on the other hand, creativity, imagination, self-confidence, conviction, and self-determination. But beyond that, the roots of hope can also be anchored in traditions, in basic and strong beliefs, in the respect and acceptance of cultural and family values and norms, and also in stability and order. All these elements converge in a main topic or vision in society. In all countries that we have investigated, people hope for especially a greener, more harmonious and peaceful society with a focus less on competition, less on the individual and on performance, but much more on collaboration, community and family bonds. Let me now sum up the Hope Barometer is a growing initiative in 14 and more countries. With this, we want to contribute both, on the one hand, to the development of scientific knowledge about hope, on research and science, and on the other hand, to cultivate and promote a more positive orientation towards the future, and to encourage people to work together for a better future for themselves and for all of us. I want to thank you very much for your attention. I especially want to thank all those volunteers engaged in the Humanity for Hope initiative for their wonderful work to support people most in need and bring hope to their lives. I wish you all a fulfilling and peaceful life, a hopeful future 
and inseparable bonds to all your loved ones. All the best.